Hey Nesters, welcome back to the channel. Today I am sharing with you my Thanksgiving thrifted finds. I try to seek out vintage items, as most of you know, to resell or even keep for myself because that is my decor of choice. Thanksgiving for me is very difficult to find decor for. And it's so sad. I feel like Thanksgiving is that holiday that people tend to overlook. Halloween is over and then they just skip right on to Christmas and Thanksgiving is kind of one of those very quickly done holidays and it's very sad because we should take time out to be thankful and grateful for the things that we have in our life. So I thought this would be very important to offer this up as a collaboration. I would love to see other people's finds from the thrift store what they came across for thanksgiving items because i like i said i don't see very many out there i found a few hopefully you, you that joined in with me did better than i but i will go ahead and share with you what i did find so at salvation army i saw this vintage recipe box and it just has fall leaves on it it was marked 99 cents and it's one of those syndicate ones. I have several in my own personal collection, so I will likely just hang on to this one as well. This one actually did come with some recipe cards, nothing original. They're actually from the year 2000 from Walmart, it looks like, but there's several in there and there might be some good recipes to try. But yeah, I thought that was super cute and for only 99 cents, I thought that would be perfect for fall and a good place to store, you know, go-to Thanksgiving recipes. So definitely a good find. Also at Salvation Army, I found this really cool set here of this vintage kind of plastic wear that you hang on the wall. I do really well reselling these types of items. I've never sold the fork and spoon before, but it has fruits and vegetables on it. And it kind of reminded me of the harvest season and Thanksgiving. So I thought this would be appropriate, but you definitely could just hang this in your kitchen year round, especially people that like to garden or decorate in this kind of style. So they were a little pricey at $4 a piece for resale purposes, you know, you're buying it for yourself, definitely a good price, but I am gonna list these up in my Etsy store. If you guys do happen to be interested in them, I do have my store linked in the description box below. So moving right along to my Goodwill thrifted finds, I really enjoy the hand-painted pottery pieces. I know some people think they might not be that valuable, but I really find them endearing. I know, you know, someone spent good time making them and a lot of them are done really nicely, honestly. So I enjoy them. I do pick them up and I have resold several, so I will continue to do so. This here is just that. It is hand-painted and it cost me $4. And this is exactly, what Thanksgiving should be, right? So it says give thanks unto the Lord and then it has the cornucopia with the just vegetables. Oh, I guess it's fruit <laughs> coming out of it. But super fun and I think there is a bit of a lip to it, so I think you can hang it up on the wall or you could just set it in the back of a hutch or something like that, but it's a little bit heavy. I will be listing this as well, but I thought this was a super fun find and a very good Thanksgiving find. I also found this really large melamine tray. It's a divided tray, perfect for either cheese and crackers or maybe dips or veggies, you know, appetizers for your Thanksgiving meal. It's a good size and I paid $4 for it. So, you know, a little bit, but it's, you know, I think it's definitely worth that. I am going to resell this as well. And yeah, I just thought it was super fun. I love this mustard yellow color here and that will be up in my Etsy. So I was getting pretty desperate to find some Thanksgiving items and this next set I picked up has some condition issues and I paid a little bit more than I should have for it given the fact that it has condition issues, right? So they were $3 a piece and I've never seen these before. They say they are Pennsylvania Dutch good luck hex candies, which is what originally came in these but they're actually piggy banks as well. You can see this boy has a coin slot on his hat, comes off here. And then the girls 
head does come off there, but she has the coin slot on the back of her dress. So I thought these were super fun. Now the girl has a pretty significant crack going down the back of her head there and it, you can see it on this side. So I'm wondering if I can just reinforce that with a little bit of glue. I think they're still super cute. I was considering returning them because I didn't notice the large crack. I saw, you know, some vintage wear to it, some paint and a little bit of, you know, nicks or whatever, but nothing too serious. And then I don't know how I missed the crack. Maybe it happened in transit but super cute and I couldn't just return the girl. I mean, they look so cute together. So I think I will try to list them. I'll just mark, you know, list it as is and with the condition issues and hopefully someone can enjoy that. She does have a little chip on the back side of her hat there as well that someone has painted over. But I think they look really nice and would look super cute on a shelf and where Thanksgiving decor is super hard to come by. I think these would be nice for somebody. The last Goodwill item, I think I'm just going to go ahead and resell in my antique booth because it is a little bit large and I don't know that it's worth enough to really try to ship it out because now the way they do shipping, you know, the larger the package, the more expensive it is. It's not necessarily just the weight. So with that said, I think this is going in the antique booth. This was only $2 and it's a vintage 1997 Precious Moments lawn ornament and it came with the little stand there. So I thought this was really cute. I believe it also has a little boy that probably came with it as well. That's like, looks like a pilgrim, I think. But I think this one is super precious. It'd be nice to put in the entryway, those that host Thanksgiving dinner, it's just a nice little greeting for your guest. And I like that she was praying over, and there's a little pumpkin and stuff. So super cute. I did find one really neat thing at a yard sale this summer. I have yet to share that entire yard sale along with me, so you might see this again in the like yard sale video, but it's a Thanksgiving item and one of the few I found, so I figured I'd share it here. It was a yard sale that was a lump sum at the end, so I'm not as sure exactly what I paid for this, but I think I will just say a dollar for this set because I want to say I paid maybe like 10 bucks at the whole yard sale and I did get quite a few items. So it has a bunch of die cuts and like window hangings inside and they're all Thanksgiving. I've never seen the Thanksgiving ones. So that was kind of neat. Let's see if I can get them all out here. <laughs> it's quite a few. All right. So the first ones are this style here and they do have the little sticky window thing that you probably have to wipe off to get it to stick. I know those things are a little bit challenging sometimes, so I don't know if these stick super well, but there is a way to get them to if they do not. So this is the first one, super cute with the pumpkin and the corn. And then we have the like, cornucopia with the pumpkins. And yeah, they all do have these on them. This one is nice, nice little festive corn there. I like the colors, the tri colors of it. This one has a couple of the window stickies stuck to it. Let me see, <laughs> you know, those window clings. <laughs> I'll just give those to my kids. Um, and then the turkey, which is really cute, but I see it's a little bit busted here. It does have a crack, but once it's on the window, you can't really tell. So it's really only if you do that. So it's still pretty intact. I think I'm going to, it says Color Clings Ink USA on the bottom of this one. I don't know what the dates on these. I haven't seen any yet. I think I'm probably going to lot these off on my Etsy. Uh, possibly just put them all together for one lump sum. This one's unfortunate. I see there's a little crack up here with the basket. That's too bad. It says happy Thanksgiving there. Very cute. Oh, I really like this one with the pilgrims and he's like leaning over the pie. Very adorable. Any other ones of that style? I think that's it for those ones. So that'll likely all be listed in one lot together. And then they had these style here that are kind of like that sun catcher uh, ones that you can kind of hand paint, I think. I don't know if these were hand painted or if they came this way, but this one is Happy Thanksgiving with the turkey there and it does have a string on it. This one again is Happy Thanksgiving and very nicely done. Almost looks like 
they're integrating Christmas in there a little bit with the green and the red bows there. And then this is a basket one with strawberries and grapes and flowers. I don't know, I guess the lighter colors, it makes sense because when the sun reflects through it, it probably will look pretty nice. I thought they might be a little bit too light, lightly painted, but they're probably fine. This one's adorable, it's that same kind of deal with the pilgrims smelling the pie. Uh, this is Happy Thanksgiving on that. And that is that set. Those ones are, I don't know if I should lot them all together. I might do two different lots because there's a couple that says Happy Thanksgiving, so maybe I'll do two and two. Is that what there was four there, I think? Something like that. This is really neat. This is a really large banner and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to open it out <laughs> properly, but it spells out Happy Thanksgiving. Is it upside down? Yes. <laughs> it's hard to do this backwards. Okay. So you get the gist of it, but it spells out Happy Thanksgiving all the way down. Isn't that fun? And it has those little things to store it that way. So you can just go every which way and stores up very nicely. So I thought that was really nice. I was considering keeping that for myself, but I might go ahead and list that as well. We will see on that one. And I found some die cuts and I know, I'm not super knowledgeable about die cuts, but I know the ones that tend to just have the one side are older and I have a few of those. So I assume they are the oldest. This is one of them here. Oh, this one does have a date. This is 1987 down here, put out by Hallmark. So isn't that one super adorable? Now I do come across these and they always seem to have the tape left on them or some tape rip marks. This one was ripped a little bit on the top and then it also has some tape stuck on it. So usually I'll just cut the tape off and leave the tape on because I just don't want to rip them. <laughs> They're very fragile. So I'm probably going to list these. I'm sure someone would definitely enjoy them. Luckily her little hat is white as well. So where it's torn, it's not super noticeable. And then the other one that is one sided is this one here. It just says happy Thanksgiving. And then we have, this one is double-sided. I really like the looks of this one. There's another one that kind of goes with this. So super cute. Now where it's double-sided, I guess you would probably put this in the window so you can see it from both ways, right? Very, very cute. And the one, well, I'll just show you. <laughs> this is a one I think that kind of goes with it. So it has the little pilgrim boy and has another little girl there feeding a rabbit. So this is a cute little set. I'll likely sell those two together and the other ones maybe individually. I don't, eh, they might go together. I don't know. <laughs> They're kind of different. So I might just sell them separately. I did find one other thing in my antique mall that I have my own booth in, and I'll show you that in a minute, but since I didn't find too much, I wanted to share with you something I found last year, and if you've been a subscriber to my channel, you probably saw this you know, around the time I picked it up. And it's my favorite Thanksgiving thing. It's the only Thanksgiving item I really have. And this is a vintage Relpo Pilgrim Girl planter. Isn't it cute? I never know what to use the planter for. I don't really want to put a plant in it, because uh, <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't really keep it out year round. So it feels weird just to like put a plant in it for a little bit and have to transfer it. So either I got to figure out a way to keep it out year round or I need to find some other use for it. If you guys have any ideas on how to use a planter other than as a planter, definitely let me know in the comments. But yeah, I wanted to share that with you. Super fun. My favorite Thanksgiving thing I've ever found. I don't normally have a lot of time to go around my antique mall and do some shopping, but I went in and I was restocking my booth and I noticed someone was having a 40% off sale. So of course I'm going to stop. And she just happened to have a lot of Pyrex there. And this set for whatever reason, she only had marked for $59. So it was $59 for the four piece set of early American Cinderella bowls. I got the 40% off, so that was about, I think like 24 bucks I paid for the four. Isn't that crazy? 
So they alternate in colors if you guys are unfamiliar. So the smallest one is the white here with the brown on it. And then it goes to the brown on gold, and then it's white again, and then brown on gold. Now, Early American was produced from 1961 to 1972, and then they actually were the first one to have the 22 karat gold featured on the pattern itself. So this here gold is 22 karat gold, which is really cool. They're actually the fourth pattern that Pyrex made that came in the Cinderella bowl style. So very nice. And I mean, come on, that's Thanksgiving, right? That is just quintessential Americana harvest Thanksgiving. So it's great. I was super excited about that. And for not finding a whole lot of Thanksgiving items, that definitely made up for it. I think these I'm keeping for myself. I do collect Pyrex. So super cool find. I'm very excited about that. Please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this haul. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel already and you enjoy thrifting and reselling content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you to you that are subscribed to my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. And yeah, so this is a collaboration. There are going to be other YouTubers participating. They have gone out to the thrift stores and sought after their own Thanksgiving items. I am super excited to see what they are able to find because like I said, it's so rare to find Thanksgiving decor. So I'm, I'm very excited about this. And yeah, so if you guys participated, I have a list where you guys had commented on the open invite, so I will go ahead and add your videos, and if you forgot to you know, tell me there, just leave me a comment below, and I'd be happy to add you to the playlist. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Bye!